Let me tell you what is the reference material I base my course on and there are plenty of books actually four of them and also articles online some even YouTube videos and so on but if you have questions and you don't understand my methodology or you do not get a concept you can always go back to the basics of reading a book my favorite depends on what exactly you want to clear your, for yourself if you're talking about mass transfer per se I will recommend you separation process principles if you're talking about let's say more mass transfer coefficients I could also recommend you this one right here and unit operations of chemical engineering by McCabe if you're talking about more on the equipment side all four are done for this I love this one because this is essentially for the chemical engineer so you need to understand the mass transfer operations you talking about absorption so you have absorption in all four of these of course each one will have a different approach some have more a mathematical approach other have much more let's say plain English approach for instance unit operations I like it this very much this I, I also like it because it's so technical so you can always go here there's a lot of topics not included uh, in the other three books but the down or disadvantage is that this is very technical so you will need to at least know the basics on gas absorption so if you ask me which one should you buy well buy first the one that you are studying at home or at your university and if you can get one only one I will definitely recommend you this one right here because this has much more on heat transfer has momentum transfer and even thermodynamics so this is a very recommended book if you already have this one because you already took I don't know maybe heat transfer or even momentum transfer uh, I will recommend you this is my personal favorite but any will do actually I could also recommend you this one right here or this one right here depends on how much are you going to see on absorption if you're going to see reactive absorption you're going to see multi-component absorption and so on okay so this is the overall reference we're going to cover so I will try to tell you which uh, aspect of the book we're treating but overall these are my top choices